Hello grade 3, this is Mr. Callan here. Um, this is going to be the first of two videos I'm going to send to you guys. This video is going to be part one of a series of maybe two or three videos, depending on how quickly you guys grasp and understand what I'm explaining. It's going to be on nouns. I'm going to quickly revise um, verbs, and then we're going to talk a little bit about nouns. Um, the second video I'm going to send uh, a little bit later today is going to be on persuasive writing. Don't stress too much, guys. I'm going to take you slowly through it. Like always, if there's something you don't understand or you're unsure about or anything, just drop me a message. I don't mind doing another lesson, explaining things in fine the detail. If you guys are struggling, you know, if you want another lesson, a lesson separately on verbs, for example, I don't mind doing it. But you guys must just communicate. Let me help you. Anyway, let's move on, guys. Now, what is a verb? This should be quick revision. I'm sure you guys have done this in the past. Like I said, if not, just let me know. But anyway, I'm sure most of you guys have heard this from previous teachers, but a verb is a doing word. Now, if we change that up a bit, verbs can show action, right? Now, a verb has lots of different functions, but one of its main functions or most important function is that it can express or show actions. In order to show you this, I have brought along a camel, our friend camel. You can see him on the right there. I'm going to use this camel in several sentences. Each will contain a verb. Uh, just a side note, guys, every sentence in English has a verb. So just keep that in mind in the back of your head. But anyway, let's see the first sentence. The camel runs. You can see I've put the verbs in yellow. It says a picture of a camel running. The camel runs. The camel sleeps. You can see there a picture of the camel sleeping. The camel drinks water. There's a funny picture of a camel drinking out of a bottle. But each word in yellow, like I said, is a verb and it's showing an action. So that was just a quick re uh, revision slide. I hope you guys, if you guys still don't, you know, if you're unsure about it, let me know and I'll do a proper presentation on it. But we're going to move on to nouns now. Great stuff, guys. Now, most sentences in English contain at least one noun. And there are loads of nouns in the English language. A lot more nouns than verbs or any other parts of speech. Now, nouns are people or living things, things, places, or ideas. So a noun is a person, a living thing, thing, place, or an idea. Now let's put that into action. Okay guys, I'm going to quickly show you four sentences. Um, let's start with number one. This is Mr. Callan. There's a picture of Mr. Callan. He is from New Zealand. He is a penguin. Mr. Callan has big dreams. So I want to take these sentences and find the nouns in them using the test. The test is, is it a person or a living thing, a place, thing or an idea? OK, so you take look at the words. Is there a person or living thing, a place, a thing or an idea? First sentence. This is Mr. Callan. Now, Mr. Callan is a person or a living thing. Yes. So you can see the underline in yellow, meaning it's a noun. So look at the second one. He is from New Zealand. Now, New Zealand is a country, which means it is a place. So it is a noun. Now, he is a penguin. Penguin is a living person or a thing. So yeah, penguin is a noun. Now the last sentence actually has two nouns in it. The first one, which we did in the first sentence, Mr. Callan, you guys all should have got that. But a little bit, that's more, a little, the other one that's a little bit more tricky is actually dreams. Dreams is not a person or a it's, it's maybe a thing, but the reason why it's a noun is because it's, it's an idea. It's something you can't pick up. Now, this is only part one. 
um, to get a whole bunch of other nouns, because you get a whole bunch of other nouns like pronouns and proper nouns. We will do this later on during the year after you guys are stronger and more um, confident with these terms of speech. Um, but anyway, if you want to know if a word is a noun, ask yourself, is it a person, a place, a thing or an idea? Great stuff, guys. That's the end of the slide of the video. Um, there's no homework or worksheets or anything for nouns or verbs today, but there will be tomorrow. So I'm just going to finish off this little cartoon image. Um, Grammar police will work for food. Let's see if you guys can spot the, the error in the, the sign. Um, anyways, guys, have a great day. Keep safe.